Hey YouTube, we're back with episode number three and let's take a quick preview of what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, who likes strawberries? Okay, so to get started you need to, to download the master file which you can find it in the description on the Dropbox folder link and uh, download it and we can get started. Today. This is the file this, those are the assets which we're gonna be using today. Those bottles I created them in a software modeling tool in a 3D software software tool. I will also share the mockups. Maybe you want to change them, make them different. Be my guest. Okay. Let's just delete all my work done okay let's start by creating our first artboard let's scroll down to web artboard 1920p okay first thing first let's define our grid we gonna not be going on the grid section today we're gonna just define a, a grid that suits uh, for this um, project. Maybe in a future course we're gonna speak more about the grids and the importance of the grid, but not right now. Okay. Let's just use the layout grid. Okay, and column let's make 11 gutter width 20 and here we're going to use 134 oops let's put it 122 Come on, 20. Yeah, that's right. So for start, let's just drag our logo, put it right in the middle. Let's say 50 pixel to top. Let's just create the, the header right now. Okay. Let's define our menu, which we're going to be having product. Product. Oops. Put it in this column. Let's create our shop. Oh, as, as a font, we're going to be using Roboto since it's a free font. Nobody will get upset. Let's say recipes. Let's say nutritional I just randomly put them just to fill up the content let's say about us and finally and at last the contact let's select all of them and make them area type Okay, for now, let's just drag our, let's define our first juice, the strawberry one. You can just drag uh, this circle with this gradient. 
you can take a look how I made it. Feel free to change it. Hold Shift and Alt and drag. I don't know. Let's make it perfect. Put it in here. Let's put all our backgrounds. Yeah. We had our green apple and our last one, the exotic fruits, the passion fruit. Let's align them. Let's leave them like so. Um, in this case, we gonna not be staying to the grid. Maybe if you want, you can just align them to the columns and make them perfectly like so. Yeah, let's leave them like so. Each circle on uh, the three column. Let's oh, wait, is this rotated? The zero. Make sure they're aligned. Let's just add our bottles, the strawberry. No, just delete them. Just Add all three of them, and you can scale it down. Scale it, scale it through, scale it down all together by holding Alt and Shift. I think they're good. Let's put them in place. One other thing: if you want to go more clean style more vertical, you can just leave them like so, you can just change your backgrounds. In this combination we have a lot of possibilities, feel free to play with them, try new things, I'm always saying that. But for now we are gonna Let's just undo. We're gonna not stick to the grid. Let's find them a nice position for each bottle. I don't know, let's decrease it. Let's increase this one. Let's decrease all the bottle sizes. Okay, let's leave them like so. You can just play with the size. Let's start defining our first area, our first juice. So to make it per exactly like in the previous course, like uh, like in the tutorial, I'm gonna do this three nine four. And the bottle should be a bit smaller. Let's make it 200 pixels in height. Let's make the. Let's uh, do them all. 200. 200. 
394. Oops, let's lock the aspect ratio. 394. 394. And we're good. Okay, let's find a good position for the strawberry bottle. Let's use it like so, maybe. Like so. You just increase the size to, to 40. Yeah. Sorry about that. Let's use to forty. Okay. Let's place. Let's place the, the strawberry. Let's just decrease the size. Don't make them evenly. You can have different sizes for them. So again, this is just more for animating. Don't get mean to me <laughs> that I don't stick to the to the grid. We're just learning to animate. Okay, let's add. Let's drag our slices. Hold Alt and decrease the size, maybe a bit bigger. Let's put them randomly. Let's use this half size. Half slice, not size, sorry. Yeah. Mm, okay. I think we're good. Let's select them. Let's drag this one a bit, make a bit of space between them. Do not try to get them near to each other because it's not very pleasant to the eye. Let's leave them like so. Let's add our finer fruits, the passion fruits. We will need three, these three elements with the leaf. Hold, Alt, and drag, like usually. Let's put this one here. Let's let's put a green leaf here. Make another copy. Rotate, hold, Alt, decrease the size. Let's make a new copy. Let's add another leaf. it like so maybe decrease the size of the passion fruit play a bit with the position to find a good good a good composition let's make it like so Let's overlap the the fruits with the the background. Let's make a bit of depth of field. Okay. The hardest part of creating the composition is done. Now we just need to stylize a bit these elements 
by just simply adding a drop shadow for each of them. Where is the mouse? Here. So you're gonna use a big drop shadow. I'm gonna use 27% opacity. Let's go on the F scale, 90 pixel, 6 on Y, and blur, 26. Let's just hide the layout, the grid. Mm, looks good. Do the same here. It just do different values 23 but one thing make sure you have the shadow pointing in the same direction you don't want to have them like so in opposite direction because it's not really making too much sense So the, the, the shadow should point in the same direction. Maybe let's decrease a bit here. And also the blur. Do the same for this one. 25 with 25 blur just go on the y-axis a bit and finally let's add the shadow to our bottle for this asset we're gonna do a bit more sharp Drop shadow, I'm gonna use just 15 for blur. Oops, sorry. Let's see how it looks. Maybe a bit more, 16. Since the bottle is a bigger object, the shadow is more crisp. Okay, let's make sure, select them all, the background and the strawberries, right click, send them to back, make sure we have the bottle above, above them, and let's repeat the process with each element in our artboard, let's just select them all. Since they're thin slices, the shadow will be not that big. Let's use the X one. Let's decrease more. 11 yeah good let's copy the same drop shadow for this bottle too we have 15 with 3 and 16 and opacity 30 Again, select all the slices and the background, right click, send them to back. Make sure we have the bottle above them. Let's rotate more. Let's send those to back to have this slice 
over this slice and maybe a bit under the bottle. Maybe increase them a bit. Hold on. Yeah. Looks good. The same thing with these elements, if I remember 15 with 3 and 16 and 13. Yeah. Let's see. Let's find a good shadow for the maracuya, or the passion fruit. Since it's a bigger fruit, we're gonna have a smoother shadow. Let's increase a bit this one. Don't try to make them perfectly. Mm. Do the same six. Maybe six with twelve. Since it's the whole fruit and not just a slice, I'm gonna increase the shadow even more. Button has a shadow. Oh, let's add the shadow to the leaves. I'm gonna use some crisp shadow for the leaves for the leaves since they're small and not uh, not very big. Too much. The shadow should be right direct underneath them. Maybe increase the opacity a bit. Yeah. To create that uh, nice depth of field, let's increase the blur here for this one. Four. Good. Nice. Play a bit with the fruit. Uh, for what we're gonna be using the grid just to add our titles. Let's name them the beetroot. I am right typing from right. the beetroot and strawberry let me change the font to roboto slab let's increase the spacing a bit let's use 24 and just double check I use 27 and here 35 letter uh, letter spacing 150 let's capitalize oh no what I just did. Let's, let's just make these letters capitalize. This 
is our first title. Let's do the second one. Oops, so annoying. Where is it? Grapes and passion fruit. This one let's align it to, to the right. I'll show you in a moment why. Let's go up it down and increase this. increase the, the path of our menu items and make them large as their column. Let's center them. This one align it to, to the left. Do the same thing with this one. This one to the right. Center, center. And this one, let's center it with the logo. Just make it this big on three columns. To have it so to have it perfectly centered to the artboard. Well, I think we're done with this page. We're just gonna move to the second page. Let's name it Home. Oops. Home. Why not home? Strawberry. Because this arbor is just about strawberries. So, uh, fun fact, let's drag it a bit here, a bit further away. So we're going to be creating the final artboard with all the elements inside it. Make sure we have all them selected which we want to animate. We will animate the strawberry juice, select them all, bring to front, go back to the main arbor, to the home, with the same theme, bring to front, go back. Now just increase this background as much as you want, or like, or Let's leave it like so. Put the bottle in place. Increase the size a bit. A bit more. Not too. 330. It's enough. Let's drag the fruits. I'm 
rotate them very slightly. I'm not sure if um, I put them like so in the preview, but feel free to find a good position for them. This one was here. No, let's leave them like so. Okay, what we want to add extra let's make a new copy of those two we want to create that nice depth of field increase the strawberry like so like so for this one change a bit the position the rotation So for these two elements we're gonna use the object blue. We're gonna increase a bit the size and also increase the shadow, the drop shadow for these two elements. We're gonna change the direction of the shadow. Increase the blur and decrease the opacity like so. do the same thing for this one make sure the shadow is pointing in the right direction since they're higher the shadow will be less visible and much soft let's make it let's get rid of the grid yeah looking good What do we do, what we want to have here on this artboard? So have another bottle right here at the bottom. Let's make them the same size. Make sure they're aligned. Just a bit the greenish right here. Okay just make a copy of this element the slider juice bottle that I've created make a copy put it here we're gonna make something like a slider a very minimal slider on vertical let's say Let's rename it Let's rename, let's put the title of the rest of the bottle that uh, you already have Like Grapes And Passion Fruit Oops And for this one Let's rotate the arrow. Let's bring them down a bit and change the color to white for the border and fill also.
Let's increase the background even more. Let's leave it like so. Let's uncheck the layout. Yeah, they're pretty visible. Go even further down. We're missing the menu. Let's just select here in the top part. And you can see we have selected the menu. Hold shift and un and click on the background to get it unselected and bring them up. So now they're puffed. Oh and another thing we forgot to add the basket the basket, the cart. Just make a copy. Command C. Command V, paste it here in the last column. Now you want to we want to copy it on the next artboard. After we found the position in the home artboard, just make another copy from here and paste. Oops, we didn't make a copy from here. Select the artboard and it should be paste in place option available. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, what we should add the info bar. Let's quick quickly add the nutrition facts. Let me see. And the, we're gonna have four, and we gonna not use the repeat grid. For those who ask why you, you don't use the repeat grid, I'm not sure why. Let's say ninety-five calories. This bar should be for sugars. Some basic facts. This is for fats and carbs. Let's add uh, for title. Oh, some weight. Nutrition facts. JG2 Roboto condensed. Coral black. Weight bold. And 20 for size. Oops. Let's use 40 pixels between the title and the bar and let's use twenty for this section. Oh less leave less leave in like so thirty pixel work good. Uh, we're gonna add the CTA make a copy Just bring in title by a six pack. Do you want, want to? Sixty two with sixty two, twenty one, twenty one. Hmm. I think it's okay. 
Okay. Oh, we're gonna need a description. I just Google some stuff. Yeah, it's not the description. Hmm. Let me just copy it from here and paste it here. Since I forgot to put the description text in the the guide file, the guide artboard, I will put it now. I'm gonna use the Roboto and let me see. Seventeen. We're gonna use a big letter spacing. And we're gonna use the Roboto condensed and black. They're all aligned to the grid. Let's make a perfect spacing between them. And choose 15. For this one, 100. Hmm, what elements do we miss? Oh, yeah, let's put here a tricky, tricky strawberry. Here, buy a six pack, buy a six pack, click. The marketing strawberry. Mm. Double click to get inside the button, make a copy of the text, paste it, and add another button, another CTA sort of thing. And make it a more subtle CTA. Find more. Oh, and the logo. Let's bring it above. Here also. Maybe just go a bit here. Now we have the bottom, the green. The green bottle. Hmm. Let's uncheck this background. Let's do a quick trick. Let's drag this bottle and move this one also. Just slightly rotate it. Maybe push a bit these fruits and maybe rotate this a bit. Now it's a total mess. Let's find the hidden layer. Let's drag it to the edge here. Perfect. Okay. This will be our last artboard and between between uh, the last one and the home we are gonna do a transitional artboard where some of the stuff are happening just in the middle artboard one second so we do not over exaggerate with the um, putting assets on just one artboard. So this, oh, let's do a bit of change here. Let's say 95 calories. Let's decrease the sugar bar. 
maybe increase the good fat a bit and let's put a bit of carbs yeah no I think I didn't miss anything let me just double check no that's good let's make a new copy of the final artboard strawberry inter because it's between them an intermediate um, artboard which is very very important at the moment let's select let's start with the, the nutrition facts let's just drag them more to the left let's use them like so let's decrease the red bar to 2 pixels for all of the for all of the bars choose two for here you are here you are select them all decrease the opacity to zero displays the nutrition fact to the left again opacity zero the description same to the left opacity zero the CTA move a bit down not too much opacity zero this one again not too much opacity zero the strawberry outside the artboard opacity zero the bottle outside the artboard under the fold opacity zero and for these two let's bring them together in the middle opacity zero and for these two fellows which are gonna do pretty the good thing. Let's group them together. Select them both, Command G, create a group. Let's see. Strawberries. Blur. Do the same thing with those two. Let me just make sure we have the exact same wording on uh, on these groups. Now we can play along. Move it outside, maybe rotate it a bit. Yeah, the, the PNG should be right at the edge here. Opacity full, maybe rotate it a bit. Yeah, I think that's good. The same, the title should remain the same, maybe, maybe not. You decide. Okay, let's switch to prototype. Select the red bottle, drag it to the intermediate artboard, 
and let's make sure the trigger have tap or to animate is out one second let's use those you can just follow along and for this artboard we're gonna select the entire artboard connect it to the final artboard and as a trigger we're gonna use the time zero delay is out one second let's make a test okay let's make a second test yeah it's too big let's decrease a bit yeah there's a crazy strawberry where is it this one we and you from where the ah yeah we lost our strawberry let's rename it let's rename yeah strawberry down here let's make sure this is the same strawberry as here strawberry 2 strawberry 2 okay let's check the name strawberry 3 strawberry 3 strawberry 1 strawberry 1 and now we name this strawberry down let's put the same name here strawberry down now let's make a new test a new one yeah yeah let's make a new one because I like it a lot. Yeah, I do like it. Okay. So pretty much this is the the course for today. But let's do a bit more fun stuff. Let's change this duration here for 1.3 seconds. And let's use is in out. Let's make another test. And again, of course. This doesn't work from the first time, the big one. Yeah? I must say it can be an improvement. Yeah, I, th I think it's uh, it's much better right now with, um, with uh, this short delay. So not all the elements are going crazy in the arbor, they're flying like crazy. You need to find the right timing for, for the animations. Maybe increase it here also. 1.3 is in, is out, is out. Let's leave it like so, is out. And another interesting that if you want to create some minor details, you can just make a new copy of the final artboard. Let's rename this. Uh, Effects. Let's 
switch to design tab use two pixel for this two for this two for this I think you're already knowing what I'm doing select the entire artboard from the prototype connect it to this one trigger time delay 0 0.6 and use the bounce again same issue why I always close it? You see? Nice! Even better! As long as we're doing this, we improve it. Let's make another test, <laughs> because I like it. I think somewhere is a bit long delay here. Yeah, I think in this artboard. Yeah, let's just leave it one second. Now we improved it. Let's make a new test. Point eight. I think it's good also point eight or just one second. I'm not really sure. Of course it's not working. No it's huge. Oh, I see on uh, a bug, an error. Yeah, here. Let's fix it. Yeah, I think it's on the home. Yeah, let's switch to the design tab. Select this part, of the, the right part of the menu. Bring it to front. We should allow it also. Oh, one thing. Let me put this description here. And this title here. Mm hmm. Nice. For, and uh, this was for today. My main uh, another thing that I missed out is why I put the green button here. Maybe you, sh you should know since we have the slider here. Uh, I think this course should be also having have the have the part two of this course where we can animate a bit more maybe we can get a new transition from the green bottle to here and do a bit more fun stuff yeah I think that's a good idea I think we should continue with this one the next time yeah I think we should work on this one, maybe like two or three episodes. Okay, so thanks for watching. 
No, I would say don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Bye.